yo what's going on guys today i'm finally getting around to doing fa run with catalina now one thing i will mention about catalina her damage is quite amazing compared to everyone else there's a point in the video where she's actually hitting upwards to 660k autos and that's like <laughs> way way higher than anyone else i think at most my main the main character does about 500 and 30k so the her damage thanks to her skill four is actually amazing now you may be wondering about the team composition here on why i bring quattro he's a staple of co-op runs it's unfortunate while i don't want to bring him he's here because of the gravity alone it's a bummer but it's just how it goes Funny enough, somebody used the gravity here. I believe it was Alex, though. It wasn't me. So you, you can see that there was a gravity placed there early on. That, that, I believe, was Alex. Because it's the only other character that's really meta that has AoE gravity. I could be wrong. I, I don't know what people were running. But there was a really strong Earth dude um, in this run outside of myself. So I, I'm, I would guess it's Summer Alex. She's very good in this raid. Like exceptional unit so oh my god do you guys see that name <laughs> i never noticed the name of the guys in the raid but there's somebody called lolly thighs holy <laughs> holy <laughs> i didn't even realize that while running i legitimately did not even notice wow dude shout out to you lolly thighs <laughs> uh thanks for the run dude but yes yeah, so i went with a sword comp here um, Quatre is not sword, but he does gain benefits from the Akasha dagger. So like, it works. Sandafon, he gets sword and Katana and Catalina being sword. So it, I thought about bringing Ultima sword, but I was like, eh, I'll bring another Merc. Um, as for the crit variant, I don't think it's that great in this raid because most of the fight is also on the wing. Um, it doesn't really benefit you too much. That's why I don't think the crit variant is that great here. It's good and maybe like a faster run. But you have like a really strong light dude with the seraphic weapon. Because they tend to blow up the wing really quickly. Thanks to their like 700k autos on the wing. Um, but you can even see here like early on. Like the damage difference between Catalina and everyone else is pretty drastic. And her damage only goes higher once we get on the body. And when we add water bunkles, it's pretty amazing. Now, in terms of her use in the party, though, um, I have a hard time using her skill for in this raid, to be honest. Like, I don't know who I want to protect. So at first, I used her to protect the main character. If you didn't know, the raid um, at the 95% uh, trigger on the main body, I think Phosphorus is what it's called, um, it targets the player in your team with the highest attack power, generally, that's your main character. So I used her to substitute for the main character to take aggro for that, because he does sport a very strong 200% defense up with everything maxed out. So it, I used that to try to take it. Um, it worked out, though I got lucky <laughs> because it was fire element, so that didn't really change much. Near the end of the raid, there are some problems though. Uh, in this grid, I didn't bring any weapon pluses because I really wanted to show the difference between Catalina's damage and everyone else in the in the um, in the party. But if you notice that my HP is kind of on the low end for somebody running two bows in the Opus, like generally it's like around 40, 50 is K, but I'm only 38, 39 because there's no weapon pluses in your grid. Yes, weapon pluses in your grid and your summons make that big of a difference. It's a very, very big difference between having weapon pluses and not having it. I, t I have a video on that, and it's drastically huge how much health you actually gain from just adding weapon pluses to your grid. So because I didn't put any to show the damage, uh, it did end up hurting me near the end of the fight because I have to lose Quatre. Yeah, spoiler alert, Quatre dies. He dies from a full Axion Burst, all targeting him, and I think he, he got hit with the Earth Crit. Unfortunately, this team doesn't have the um, Ellie Swamp from Europa. I, I don't even... I, I want to run Europa, but I don't know. I thought about putting Europa in Xenophon's area, but 
I'll, I, I kind of wanted to run Xenophon because I, I never get to really run him. Now, I actually like his, I like his kit a lot. Um, he's a little bit squishy though, I think. He tends to take a lot of damage. I think you probably have to put some defense nodes on him because he, he, he don't defend that well. He, he takes quite a bit of damage. So if I were to change anything up, I'll probably add some defense notes to him to make him a little bit more tankier because he kind of gets it blown up. Also, he's not level 100 and that's a big oomph because he has the lowest HP in the, in the party, meaning that he will be targeted by any of the Phosphorites after 50. And it's kind of big because, you know, that's why I started substituting for Sandophon. After after the main character, like about halfway through this fight, I do substitute for Sandophon because I started realizing that he's kind of getting blown up. So I think it worked out in the long run. I think Catalina is pretty good for protecting your weakest unit. Um, generally, it's the unit that has the lowest level. Um, there's some exceptions, you know, there's some units with really inherently high defense like um, Anne. Anne's a good example of a unit with really high defense naturally, thanks to her, her spirit mechanic. Not many people run her though, unfortunately. She's not like awful, but I, I may, experience, uh, may uh, experiment with her because I really do like her as a character. Uh, another thing I want to mention is that we did get a brand blue fantasy uh, in the month update. And they did mention rebalancing a couple of characters, Silva being one of them and a couple others like Six, Siete. I believe it's around the auto mechanic though because a lot of those characters in the balance patch are not gonna be great on auto, full auto, which we'll be getting in I believe a day. So I'm believing that's why a lot of them are getting a rebalance. If you guys want, I could do a live stream and talk about what my thoughts on or what they're gonna change about the characters. If not, that's perfectly fine. Uh, one more thing I want to mention here, though, is that I don't really like how you have to Ogi with this team. I kind of wish Rackham's skill 4 actually was Catalina's skill 4 in the areas because I, I kind of like the auto ignition on main character for the Merc. So I kind of wish they changed something about that. I, I don't know. I, I do like the auto ignition, but... It's kind of hard to really run this team comp, I think, compared to the standard Europa Lily combination. They're so much stronger than the this comp, like in terms of defense, that I don't even think it's worth running this comp. Comp, to be honest, like I, I don't know what comp to run with Catalina. I may try her again in the future with a better composition, but this comp I don't feel it's that great for like a new player. It's really damn like you take a lot of damage and generally you don't want to take a lot of damage if you're new to the raid. While Catalina herself didn't take much damage, Quatre gets kind of hurt and uh, Setaphon gets blown up to be honest. So I don't believe this is probably the best composition. Quatre is core, unfortunately, so you have to bring Quatre and, and already that means you have only two slots left. So it gets kind of hard, unfortunately. It's a, it's a big oomph. I don't like it. I, I really wish that we get more gravity AOE characters that it's core because Quatre is kind of underwhelming in the current meta. He does have the higher multi-attack rate boost, but Catalina already has multi-attack rate boost. I mean, it's maybe a little bit lower, but it's, I'd rather get a whole new character altogether, to be honest. Though his dispels are very useful in this raid. I can't deny that his him as a dispeller does help, but uh, I'd rather bring somebody else to dispel to be honest. <laughs> it's rough, man. Water, water with Quatre, I don't like it too much. It's probably my biggest problem with water right now is that you have to run Quatre, and Quatre is he's just not that amazing as a character overall compared to other options in the game. So I feel that does hinder water quite a bit overall. But that's my opinion. Tell me how you guys feel about it. I believe I'm gonna die in about like in like four minutes from now or something. I'm gonna lose Quatre. And you notice that I stopped moving because I didn't want, I could have taken the turn, but I didn't want um, to lose any more characters because I was gonna gain stacks. Unfortunately, once you lose Quatre, stacks, they go up really quick. So I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it with the rest of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to subscribe and all that jazz, that'd be much appreciated. Um, until next time, thank you and enjoy the rest of the video.
海の木地となれ夏を満喫するために視点より至る雫は劇場の涙弱いくせに人の邪魔していいと思ってんのかやっちゃおうはあはあはっ邪魔してクールに君を弱いくせに人の邪魔していいと思って弱いくせに人の邪魔していいと思って弱いくせに人の邪魔して海岸のゴミ掃除ですねここが少年場だ。遊びではすまさん。私に守るものがある遊びではすまさん
悪いが引いてもらう海の木となれ。